hello in this video i am going to show you how to validate uh, how to validate the list of rules uh, which are present in my application for example my application is sbi application it contains uh, so many rule set versions every rule set version contains a list of rules right so but uh, i want to validate my application is there any invalidate rules is there any invalidate rules which are present in my application if i want to know that how can we how can we do this in pega okay so pega providing an option uh, go to the configure application tools and there is an option called it as a validation now here validation type validate an application or validate a rule set you can choose any one either no i want to validate my application so there are lot of application you can choose whatever the application you want or you can choose the appropriate rule set and even here also which rule set you want to validate and which rule set version for example i want to validate my sbi apple here how many rule set versions so which rule set version you want to validate like this now i am selecting here validate an application so run a validation now see this one it will check the entire application and it will find out is there any invalid rules are present in this application see for example now the validation of this application is completely done total rules is 961 processed rules is 961 invalid rules is 19 so before that go to an application definition so just if you want you can cross verify also all these rule set versions a total how many number of rules are present okay it will validate all those rules so after validation completed so total number 19 invalidate invalid rules so see this one expand each rule to see the validation errors of this rule validation errors of this rule so for example uh for example i am taking this application <laughs> so for example i am taking this one rule obj model assuming i am just opening this one so it looks like there was no errors because what happened okay yes see this one it seems like there was no errors but see this validation report shown this data transform paypal details response get this data transform contains an error see this one when you try to click on save SBI data PayPal ID is undefined, undefined, undefined. So like this, uh, this report, this report contains invalid rules, invalid rules. For example, see this one. 
SBI application 010103. This is the rule application. So just open this application. Supply password to update incorrect password is specified. So like this, each and every rule, there was some error. So in order to identify those, you just use this wizard or use this tool to quickly identify how many number of rule, invalid rules are present in your application. Uh, for example, and one more thing is, see this one product message to kafka topic sorry produce a message to kafka topic open this activity i mean it is showing as an invalid activity okay so check out the branch because probably all these are in my private checkout now we, we will see the original error message or even if you want you can expand here you can expand here also you can find the error message produce message of internal engine error reported by this activity while processing etc calm runtime exceptions could not open this car loan status event etc see this one so it looks like that means all these are invalid rules that means there was an errors there was an errors in these rules you cannot save these rules unless you resolve these error messages so it's a very simple tool to identify the list of invalid rules which are present in your application at the same time also you can select the appropriate rule set because see how many number of rule set refresh see these many number of rule sets are present in my application current application it is taking current application now if you want to validate a specific version also you can validate it so not only this one so not only application see for example this is a class assuming this is a class open this class what is the error message we will see this one just save just save okay class sbi int paypal data does not exist does not exist please define an existing parent class so actually this class was not present that's why now even if we can search also let's see class does not exist all the applications okay so this wizard will be useful for you to identify the list of invalid rules which are present in the application as well as in the rule set i mean to say if you want to quickly identify it this is very very useful option in pega so go to the configure application tools and validation i hope you understand this feature thank you